Hey, the name's Nets. I run the channel Nets Conquers, where I mostly cover Overwatch related news and videos. There had been a couple of requests to update my old Overwatch settings video for the current year, as the video contains some outdated information in it. There have also been a number of changes you can do outside the game, which I have uh, picked up over the years of playing. Uh, that would increase your own performance and also the advantage you gain in competitive or just the game in general. So now that we're in game, we're going to wander over to options and of course we're going to want to set these to the most highly competitive uh, settings possible. So we want to start with display mode where your display mode should always be full screen as it gives you the most amount of FPS and the least amount of input lag. Uh, target display should of course be the monitor you play on and uh, resolution is very important. It should be the one at the bottom, it should be your native display. You want to pick the highest one with the highest amount of hertz, that's the number in the brackets there. Uh, your field of view should always be 103. Your aspect ratio you can skip over as it will be set by the resolution. Um, V-Sync and triple buffering should both be off, while reduced buffering should be on to lessen the input lag in your PC. Wandering over to limit FPS, this is highly uh, based upon your PC, um, as it will uh, put more stress on it if you put the limit FPS to custom and boosting it up all the way to 300, your computer will constantly try to gain the highest number of FPS possible and that may cause a huge amount of input lag you never really notice. I have it on display based as the it will limit the FPS near to the amount of hertz my monitor can render so around 144 hertz will be my set FPS if I pick display based for my PC. Wandering over to the graphics quality and the advanced options, the first uh, option render scale is probably the most important one in the whole game. Uh, some people like having 100% to have those clean edges, but I prefer 75, um, where the outlines of enemies will be thicker. Same thing, if you go to 50, they will be even thicker than that. Uh, there is a setting I will cover later outside of the game, which will lessen uh, the amount of blurriness you will see in the game as putting it to 50 or 75 will blur all the edges and all the models in the game. The rest of the graphics settings you should set as I have them. I like having texture quality and texture filtering quality to high and epic, while putting local fog detail, dynamic reflections to uh, low and off, and shadow quality on medium to gain that competitive advantage where shadows can be seen around corners and such. Uh, my models are low, my effects are low, my my lighting quality is low, anti-aliasing is off, and refraction quality is low, screenshot quality is 1. Uh, local reflections and ambient occlusion should both be off, as my recommendation to gain the most amount of FPS from the graphics quality setting in Overwatch. While wandering down to gamma correction, contrast and brightness, I would put them slightly below the default to um, make the game brighter and more visible. Wandering over to controls in the settings, uh, I would go to the hero section and put allied health bars on always, make sure it's on all heroes. Same thing with show friendly outlines, I would put that to always make sure to click apply back and then make sure to close the game uh, and refresh it so now that we're at our desktop we're gonna right click in the middle of the screen and go to nvidia control panel this can also be found in the bottom right in your taskbar usually by right clicking the nvidia geforce experience so simply go to the nvidia control panel in any which way you can reach it uh, make sure to go over to uh, display and then adjust desktop color settings. Now, this is not for everyone, but to gain that slight advantage within the game, I would put the digital vibrance up to 70 or 60 between those two numbers. You will notice that your screen is a lot more vibrant and vivid and colors in every application you run will also abide by this. So simply put it up to 60 or 70. I have it on 70, sometimes I put it down to 60. It's quite straining on the eyes to have it always like this. 
I would only do it when I'm gaming or uh, jumping into a long competitive session. The next thing we're going to do is uh, cover the sharpness filter, which you can put on your game if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Um, this does not apply if you have an AMD card, I'm pretty sure. But nevertheless, I'm going to show you how to do this. So you remember in game, we put the render scale down to 75 or even 50 if you wanted to do that. It makes the game a lot more blurry. Uh, however, Nvidia has a very nifty feature where you can sharpen the image of the application you're running. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to try and enable that right now. We're going to go over to uh, the Nvidia GeForce. You want to launch the Nvidia GeForce experience here. Make sure that the NVIDIA GeForce Experience is updated to the latest possible uh, version of it. So make sure to check for updates. And you have a graphics card that supports this uh, in-game. Then you should be able to see that right here on the side here. So you want the in-game overlay. You've got to enable it right here. Once you do that, you might want to set up a keyboard shortcut so you can reach it easily you simply go to shortcuts and then here you set it up to easily accessible but not so you click it by accident so i have it to alt b that is my personal preference however you can set it to whatever you want now right here is the game filter we're going to be uh doing in the game uh, so if you click on it it won't do anything actually but once we jump into overwatch i'll show you what it looks like So simply hop into the practice range and pick any character and wander around for a bit and get a feel for what it looks like without the filter. Uh, I'm sure if you played with a uh, setting like this before it won't be that weird. But just get a feel for it real quick. And uh, once you've done that you simply want to press the shortcut that we set up earlier. Uh, mine was Alt B. Now you won't be able to see the overlay but however when you do it yourself you'll be able to see the overlay. So. Simply press the shortcut uh, on the left side of the screen. You will be able to see game filter at the bottom there. You simply click that. Uh, a bar will pop up on the left side of your screen. Now you can press any of these styles uh, at the top there. One, two, three. It won't matter. You simply click on one of them. You go to filter. So it'll drop down menu there and you want to find sharpen. Once you do so, you simply um, remove all the ignore film grain from the sharpen filter by clicking the little arrow there and sharpen like I said and you want to boost up sharpen to 100% now your game will look very similar to mine it will have this sharpen filter on it uh, simply close down uh, the game filter section by pressing the X at the top and then the X at the top right side of the screen uh, so now the game filter uh, will be applied as you can tell uh, all the outlines of all the characters are now a lot more sharpened however they remain as uh, big and thick as they were before by doing their render scale setting so characters far away will be, will be a lot more visible to you as their red outline will be bigger uh, this also applies for if, if you go into options and you make sure that the render scale is 50 um, the outlines will be a lot bigger than you're used to and um, however like i said the quality will deteriorate quite quickly because the game simply not rendered that detail at all but the game will be sharper so it will be easier to see things um, now i hope this has been helpful uh, like i said you can mess around with the different settings different sharpen sharpens amount and different render scale amounts i would recommend 75 percent but it's completely up to you whatever falls in that you like um, so I hope that your uh, competitive games will go as smoothly as this this shitty <laughs> practice range Genji played there um, if you have any questions please post them in the comments I always read all my comments since I'm quite a small channel um, if you like my videos please like subscribe if you don't don't right I hope you have a good day and uh, hopefully I'll be seeing you around for more videos